With the British royal family dominating the limelight in the past year, some of Europe's other monarchies have been overlooked. But did you know that there are 25 other royal families? One of the more scandalous royal families is that of Spain. Make sure you stay until the very end to find out everything from these shocking scandals to dark family feuds to even secret children. But before we get into it, remember to subscribe to The Taco for all our awesome content. Now let's get into the crazy lives of the Spanish royal family. The British royal family seems to be getting all the front pages of the press in the last few years. Considering their biggest scandal in recent years has been that of marrying outside of royalty, they are pretty tame compared to other royal European families. One of the more interesting royal European families is the Spanish royal family. The royal family of Spain has managed to keep a low profile in North American culture. The family consists of King Felipe VI, his wife, Queen Letizia, and their two daughters. King Felipe ascended to the throne in 2014 after his father father, King Juan Carlos, abdicated. For those of us unfamiliar with royal lingo, ascending to the throne means that Felipe became the new king, and abdicating means the former king has stepped down and renounced his throne. The former king, Juan Carlos, was long associated with Spain's transition into democracy following the death of former fascist ruler Generalissimo Francisco Franco in 1975. For the majority of his rule, King Juan Carlos was a respected leader and public family man. But right before his abdication in 2014, his public appearance went from respected and loving family man to insensitive killer and cheating husband. King Juan Carlos almost maintained his genuine appearance for his entire ruling. However, right before his abdication in 2014, Juan Carlos's image almost crumbled because of a holiday trip. On a hunting trip to Botswana, King Juan Carlos broke his hip and was immediately flown back to Spain to heal his injuries. The news of his broken hip quickly made headlines. Not long after, other information regarding the king's trip began to emerge. The public found out that the king's hunting trip was actually him hunting elephants for sport. Considering hunting for sport remains a controversial pastime, the fact that the king was hunting elephants became a national event. The public was outraged and many were appalled that the king of Spain would hunt such an endangered and treasured species. If that wasn't enough, news came about that his entire trip, including the private jet he was flown on, was subsidized by a Saudi businessman who had a rather negative reputation. And the Saudi businessman wasn't the only person the king was maintaining close ties with. It was later revealed that the king was on the trip with a woman other than his wife. Karina Zu Sein Wittgenstein is a German aristocrat who many claim to be the king's mistress. Rumors swirled that the two had been involved since 2004, but the gossip was always curved. After being caught on this rather intimate trip, Karina had to explain her presence and many didn't believe her story. The public started to believe the hype that King Juan Carlos definitely had a mistress in the name of Karina Zu Sein Wittgenstein. But there was one controversial question that started to materialize. Was Karina really the king's only mistress? For years, there had always been rumors of the king's infidelity, but the Spanish public mainly held the king in high regard, and the press continually showed the king in a positive light. With the media continually portraying the king as a well-respected family man, people began to wonder just how much influence the Spanish family held in the media. Finally, in 2014, The New Yorker published a story claiming that a Spanish newspaper editor had told them that they exercised self-censorship on the subject of the king. This self-censorship further alludes to the royal family's influence over Spanish mainstream media. It could perhaps be the reason why the king's former romantic affairs and infidelity were well hidden from the public eye for so long. Although this very scandalized trip was not the reason for the king's relinquishing his power, the timing couldn't have been worse. After the abdication, the Spanish media began to report on more taboo matters concerning the former king. Considering the king was no longer protected by the crown, reports of secret love children began to emerge. A Belgian woman brought a paternity suit against the former king to the Spanish Supreme Court. However, in 2015, the case was dismissed. Thankfully, the current king, King Felipe, seems to be the furthest thing from his father. King Felipe married Letizia Ortiz, a middle-class journalist. The two dated in secret from their parents and the public. As as they were certain people wouldn't approve. However, when they revealed their engagement in 2003, the public was charmed by the union. They were a delightful couple who were frequently compared to humble and middle-class Kate Middleton and royal Prince William. Although the new couple seemed to have won the popular vote, there were still a few members who weren't completely pleased by their union. Queen Sophia, the former Queen of Spain, and Queen Letizia had quite a tense relationship. The queens made headlines of Easter 2018 when a video went viral 
of Queen Letizia showing animosity towards her mother-in-law. The video, which took place during Easter Mass, shows Queen Letizia blocking a photographer from taking a photograph of her daughters with their grandmother, Queen Sophia. What makes the situation even more stressful is that the granddaughter can later be seen violently pushing her grandmother's hand off of her shoulder after the passive-aggressive encounter. Although Queen Letizia tried to downplay her blocking of the camera, the brush-off and shrug give way to the true tension that the family is clearly going through. Many were insulted by the altercation, including other members of the royal family. King Felipe's cousin-in-law, Marie Chantal of Greece, took to Twitter after viewing the video and her disgust was pretty evident. Marie Chantal shows her outrage by tweeting, No grandmother deserves that type of treatment. Wow, she's shown her true colors. Although a spokesperson for the royal family tried to downplay the episode, few believe the statement. The statement claimed that Queen Letizia was merely having a motherly reaction and that it wasn't a serious issue. Nothing has happened. It's worthy to mention that although the former king and queen are no longer protected by the crown, they do keep their title as king and queen, which could explain the high tensions in this royal family. Spain officially has two kings and two queens. Some claim that rulership can be muddled when both couples maintain their title of king and queen. This might be why the relationship is so tense. Ultimately though, who are we to say what the true reason is behind the encounter? We're just happy we don't have to fight over any royal titles. Speaking of titles, the queens and kings of Spain aren't the only members vying to keep their royal name. King Felipe's sister, Princess Cristina, was stripped of her title that her father gave her by her very own brother, Felipe. In 2015, Princess Cristina was accused of tax fraud. Cristina's husband, Inaki Erdondarin, was accused of embezzlement and money laundering for his non-profit company, News Institute. Although Inaki claimed that the former king, Juan Carlos, and his wife had no idea about the money laundering, evidence later revealed that the king and queen were well aware of their son-in-law's illicit practices. Although no one in the immediate royal family was convicted, Inaki Erdongarin was found guilty, and Princess Christina was stripped of her title. Even though Princess Christina was stripped of her title, that doesn't mean she carries no title at all. Spain is unique in the sense that royalty carries one title in particular. All of the women in the royal line of succession are called Her Royal Highness of the Infanta. Infanta literally means infant, so no matter how old a royal woman becomes, her name will always be associated with infant. The word infanta actually came to be used in the 1200s when referring to children of the king. Infanta was eventually dropped for males in the 1370s, but is still used for royal women in succession today. And the women aren't the only members who have weird titles. King Felipe himself has almost 50 different titles, including King of Jerusalem, Lord of Biscay, and well, you get the point. Having multiple titles isn't the only thing the royal family has. In addition to multiple names, the family also has multiple homes. The family has five royal county residences, 10 monasteries and convents, as well as eight royal palaces and of those eight palaces, one of them is the largest in Europe. Palacio Real de Madrid has 3,418 rooms, and even though it takes up 1,450,000 square feet of floor space, it remains empty. The family prefers to stay in a smaller but quite impressive palace, Zarzuela Palace. With all of this grandiosity, you would think that the Spanish royal family is one of the most wealthy of the royal families, and although they are in the top 10 of Europe's most wealthy royal families, they don't make top five. The Spanish royal family is the ninth most wealthy family out of the royal families in Europe, with a net worth of $20 million. And while that is incredibly impressive, the family has the smallest family budget of all the royal families in Europe. Because of the 2008 recession and Spain's struggling economy, King Felipe slashed his salary by 20% in 2015 to $267,447. Although the king has been strict with budgeting, in 2015, the royal family's lifestyle cost Spain eight. $8.9 million. King Felipe has made strict rules regarding accepting extravagant gifts. Starting in 2015, the king forbid anyone in the royal family from accepting gifts that might compromise the dignity of the institution. Anything from flights to working in the private sector is banned for members of the royal family. And it seems this rule is even spilling over to his parenting skills. Last Christmas, his two daughters received puzzles for the holidays, just like regular children. King Felipe isn't the only one to put a budget on things. His wife, Letitia, 
Letizia is frequently photographed wearing clothes from Spain's popular store, Zara. Although King Felipe might be budget conscious, it seems Queen Letizia is fashion conscious. The queen is well known for her put-together looks and mixing street stores with high-end brands. The royal is frequently photographed in street-level stores and is always applauded for her looks. During an awards ceremony in Spain, the queen stepped out in a 25-euro Zara top and the fashion magazines absolutely ate it up. The queen is such an influencer that she even has her own blog called Queen Letizia Style. We gotta say that we are not only loving her looks, but love how this royal has continually played homage to her middle-class roots. With Queen Letizia and King Felipe ruling the nest, it looks like Spain has become a much more modern and tolerant country. Regardless of the family drama, we think this consciousness and cool factor that the king and queen possess is really competition for the British family. Watch out Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. What do you think about the scandalous Spanish royal family? Will you start following King Felipe and Queen Letizia? Let us know your thoughts on the royal family below.